This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 11th of December. James Spann here, and it's cold this morning. Temperature's well below the freezing mark. Rain comes in tomorrow. Does that mean some icing problems for a brief time? Maybe. Let's take a look. Hey, I captured these yesterday afternoon as the sun was going down. Just saw a nice sunset and thought we'd show you some of the pictures. That was about uh, 4.50. That's the view from Daphne on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. Uh, just down the road, look at the Gulf Shore sky cam. Oh, boy, that's nice. Mm. And uh, Gadsden's camera at about the same time up in the uh, northern part of the state. And this morning, this is the way it looks up at Mount Cheeha, where you bet it's cold up there. Nice to see all the Christmas lights. Water vapor satellite shot. You can see that old subtropical jet stream pushing high clouds in here. Quite frankly, those have kept us a little warmer than we had forecast for this morning. Uh, but it's still cold. And, of course, you can see the uh, trough continuing uh, in the northern branch there. And there's a look at the numbers. It's hard to find any warm weather around the continent. Um, and I don't know if you can see the numbers way up there at the top of that chart. I see a 44 below zero Fahrenheit over uh, northern Canada. There's a lot of cold air up there just hanging over us. With that big snowpack, as it drops south, it's not going to modify much. Here's our numbers this morning. The uh, colder spots, uh, let's see, 24 at Haleyville, Gadsden 25, mostly upper 20s around here. And the watch morning map, pretty quiet, which is good. The big snowstorm winding down up north, still some lake effect snows going on there. Rain for the next five days, valid through Wednesday, or I'm sorry, Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. And uh, this is suggesting amounts of uh, a little over three inches around Mobile Bay. Uh, the number's here about uh, one and a half inches, and this counts the rain over the weekend and the rain on Tuesday. In between both of those systems, I think we could easily see about two inches here. This is the 06 ZGFS at noon today. And again, you can see the uh, cold trough to the north. Uh, active southern branch down below. Surface chart, we stay dry today. We'll call it partly sunny with those high clouds, but rain begins to break out over the western gulf, and tomorrow will be cold and wet. And, of course, our big question, will we start the day with some freezing rain or ice pellets in the dry air initially? Uh, that's the uh, GFS valid at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, this is the low-level critical thickness values, the 1320 line. And again, that's 1,000 to 850 millibar thickness. And uh, again, you can see at that point the rain just south of here. Uh, technically, anything that falls north of that blue line would include maybe some snowflakes. But really, our concern, it's not snowflakes. It's freezing rain. Uh, the dew points initially are going to be awfully low. I'm talking dew points in the, in the teens probably. There will be evaporative cooling. And that's going to bring the surface temperature down to below freezing. And I, I still have concern there will be a time of some freezing rain here. Uh, not particularly long-lasting, but enough to cause some bridge icing. Then at noon, the rain moves in, and the uh, critical thickness for the snowflakes is up north. But again, I just have a feeling that there will be some problems with bridge icing. A look at the NAM. That's 6 o'clock Saturday morning. Uh, the rain is south of here. And again, at noon, it gets awfully wet. So just be aware of that. If you're driving early Saturday morning, if you can, I'd delay it until midday once we get above freezing, quite frankly. But if you do have to drive, just be really careful on those bridges. Uh, Sunday, lingering moisture will maintain some risk of rain. Monday of next week, the moisture pool goes nowhere. Uh, there could be a few scattered showers. Monday should be noticeably warmer. We should get up in the uh, 60s on Monday. And then Tuesday, here comes a strong phase trough. And that's going to bring a, a pretty good front through here. It looks like the uh, front passes through Tuesday morning. So we'll kind of ramp up the chance of showers and thunderstorms Monday night into Tuesday, especially Tuesday morning. Uh, severe weather, I would say unlikely, but we sure can't rule out a strong storm in that we're starting to see some evidence of surface-based instability there. And that could be a day Tuesday where temperatures begin to fall Tuesday afternoon. And then Wednesday just looks uh, cold and dry. And remember, uh, those thickness values don't necessarily tell the story because that air is awfully cold up there and it's going to be shallow. Uh, Thursday dry, Friday dry. Three dry days in a row. Could it be? I'm sure I'm going to promise that, but there's at least a chance of that. All right, let's dig deeper as we approach Christmas. See if we can find something. This is the 20th of December. Hmm. 
Uh, again, the, the trough is over the east, energy rotating through that thing, and uh, that looks cold. Maybe a few flurries, if that's right. But that looks awfully cold five days before Christmas. How about two days before Christmas, the uh, 23rd? Same deal, trough in place, energy diving through that thing, and aha, uh -huh. that squeezes. If they, Now, come on, we all know this is going to change, but uh, it's certainly possible, something like this, that would suggest a little snow event there for North Alabama Christmas Eve Eve. And then we'll go out to the end of the forecast, which is the day after Christmas. This is uh, late night on the 26th. And uh, again, you can see that active southern branch, uh, strong disturbance out there over western Texas. And again, that just looks mischievous. So uh, it sure just looks interesting, we think, uh, for the rest of this month in terms of what the weather's going to do. Cold and unsettled. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Notice how the shirt is making the camera kind of freak out, doesn't know what to do with it. Look, the, the colors change. Uh, that's, that's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great Friday, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.